Assalamu alaikum and a hearty welcome to today's English classroom. I hope all of you are ready for today's class, aren't you? Okay, very good. So in today's class, we are going to learn a grammar topic, which is an important one in the high school English grammar. The name of our topic is noun phrase, verb phrase and prepositional phrase. So are you all ready for today's class? Okay, then let's get started. Here we go. So before starting today's class, let me ask you two simple questions. Do you know what is a phrase and what is a clause? Anybody any idea? Okay, then I'll tell you. First of all, let's see what a phrase is. A phrase is a group of words which does not make complete sense, which means that it does not have a full meaning. A phrase does not contain a subject and a predicate. We know that in a meaningful sentence there is always a subject and a predicate. But a phrase is a group of words without a subject and a predicate. A phrase cannot stand alone as a simple sentence. To make things clear, let me tell you that a phrase is an incomplete group of words. Okay, when we hear it, we can say that the sentence is incomplete. Now, look at the examples. In the park. How to do it? Find beaches. When we hear these group of words, we have the feeling that the sentence is incomplete. Okay, so once again I'll tell you, a phrase is a group of words without a complete meaning when we hear it we have we have to feel that the sentence is incomplete okay so a group of words without complete meaning is called a phrase now look at what let's see what is a clause a clause makes complete sense whereas we learned that phrase does not make complete sense secondly a clause contains a subject and a predicate so there is a subject and a predicate. Third one, a clause can stand alone as a simple sentence. So, since it has a subject and a predicate, it can stand alone because it is complete sentence. Okay, now look at the examples. Who gave you a book? You have made a mistake. That is made of gold. All these sentences have a complete meaning and therefore they are independent and can stand alone. Whereas a phrase does not have a complete meaning so it is dependent and it cannot stand alone. So I hope it's clear for you what is the difference between a phrase and a clause. Okay then let's get to today's topic. Let's learn in today's class. What is noun phrase? What is verb phrase? And what is prepositional phrase? So, let's get into the topic. So, first of all, let's see what is a noun phrase. A noun phrase is a group of words that consists of a noun and its modifiers. And together they form a noun. Now, you might be wondering what is a modifier? Let me explain. A modifier is a word, phrase or clause that describes something or makes it more specific. Okay, so it can be a word, it can be a phrase or a clause. And what is its duty? It is describing something or it is making something more clear to you. Modifiers function as adjectives or adverbs in a sentence. So their role is to describe it okay it may function as an adjective or an adverb now let's see few examples then everything will be clear to you look here expensive cloak cloak means a long outer garment worn over the shoulder like a hood okay so here the word expensive is functioning as a modifier it is modifying the cloak. Okay, look at the second example. It flapped gently. So, we know that. An adverb tells 
how an action is done he ran fast how did he run fast she sang sweetly how did she sing sweetly so adjectives sorry adverbs tell you how the action is done now look at this one it flapped gently how did it flap gently so here the function is of that of an adverb now once again coming back to noun phrase so now you got an idea what is a noun phrase okay so once again a noun phrase is a group of words that consists of a noun and its modifiers so in the case of a noun phrase a noun is preceded preceded means before the noun we can see a modifier or a determiner i hope all of you remember what is a determiner articles possessives and demonstratives together are called determiners so if an had noun is preceded by any of these then it is called a noun phrase now look at the example the full blooded cobra was slithering slowly on the doctor's arm here our head noun is cobra and look at the words that preceded the cobra the full blooded okay so we can see a demonstrative and we can also see adjectives before that we can see a demonstrative we can see a quantifier and an adjective before the head noun cobra okay so together the full blooded cobra makes a noun phrase now look at the second example a single roomed apartment was rented by the doctor now a single roomed apartment is our noun phrase can you tell me which is the head noun very good apartment okay apartment is our head noun and look at those words a single roomed is the modifier isn't it it is modifying the noun apartment okay again we can say that a is an article single roomed can be considered as an adjective and so a single roomed apartment is a noun phrase in this sentence okay so i hope all of you are clear with what is noun phrase now let's see what is a verb phrase a verb phrase is a group of words that consists of a main verb and any of its modals or auxiliary verbs okay so it, there will be a main verb in the sentence as well as any of the modal verbs or the auxiliary verb now i hope all of you know what are modal verbs they are can may must ought all these verbs are called modals okay they are used to express modality and all of you know what are auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are helping verbs so when a main verb is accompanied by a modal verb or auxiliary verb then it is called a verb phrase now look at our example the full blooded cobra was slithering slowly on the doctor's arm okay so our main verb is slithering and it is preceded by an auxiliary verb was so it is a verb phrase look at the second sentence a single roomed apartment was rented by the doctor rented is our main verb and it is preceded by the auxiliary verb was okay so i hope you got an idea what are verb phrases now let's see what is a prepositional phrase a prepositional phrase is a group of words consisting of a preposition object and any modifiers okay i hope all of you remember what is a preposition preposition is a word that is used to show the relationship between words in a sentence it is used before a noun or a pronoun okay in on at under above all these are prepositions in english now so a prepositional phrase is a group of words consisting of a preposition an object will be there and a modifier will be there now look at the example 
the full bladed cobra was slithering slowly on the doctor's arm so on the doctor's arm is the prepositional phrase in the sentence now look at the second one a single roomed apartment was rented by the doctor so by the doctor is the prepositional phrase in the second sentence i hope that is clear for all of you now it's time for today's assignment i have given few sentences below find out the noun phrase verb phrase and prepositional phrase from these sentences okay so i think it's time for us to wind up so see you in next class until then take care and bye bye